Yo, what is good everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hopefully you guys are having an awesome day filled with only positive vibes. Today we have a brand new legendary gun in the lucky draw and it's gonna be the HG40. I have been an advocate of the HG40 since last season as well as during the test server when I said, look, it's gonna be very good, especially with the buff, but nobody believed me and lo and behold, everybody's using the HG40. So anyway, we're gonna jump into the game because I actually did all of the lucky draw and I forgot to record it. So we're not gonna talk about that, but let's jump into the game real quick. All right, the manifest destiny draw. You guys can see the HG40 gold standard. You already know your boy had to pick it up. So it costs about 12,000 cod points which is about a hundred dollars us a little more probably around that area some of the cool stuff you can get american bulldog you can get also the he40 you get the cheers which i'll probably be rocking because i love cheersing with you guys it's always fantastic very nice also charm gilded button i like it i actually like that a lot and then the pw is not really great or the j358 and the banner so yeah i got everything at the end so didn't really need to show you guys any of that footage but we're gonna go ahead and jump into some gameplay real quick. It was an absolutely fantastic game. And then we're gonna come back and show you guys two loadouts of which you guys can use. One of them is gonna be probably known in the community. It's gonna be by Path X, and the other one's gonna be from me. And again, all this footage is gonna be from my live stream channel. If you haven't yet, join me live on stream, trovo.live slash the hitman. I've been streaming just a little bit earlier, starting around 10 p.m. So if you guys wanna join me live on stream, make sure to come. Enemy has A. Enemy, Enemy in Bravo. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Ah, oh, bro, I potato. Should have reloaded before shooting him. I don't know. I know what I'm doing. I'm coming up this way. Nope. Get him off, Charlie. Target's in sight. Yep, got him. There's another guy there. The thing is, how are you spawning here? Bravo. Shock RC has been We're here. We're capturing B. We lost the lead. It's up team. Enemy UAV spotted. I'm down. Oh my god, bro. Are you kidding me? Capture Contact with A. enemy. Contact with enemy where? Whoa. That was that was Reloading. really, really, really weird. Enemy UAV spotted. Enemy shock RC is coming. We lost Charlie. I got him. Wow. What? That was an enemy? enemy shock what the heck? Running. Got him. Oh, wow. You actually... I'm actually shocked that you managed to kill him. To be honest. I'm down! Need backup! Nice. Shock RC is coming. I got shot! Ooh, I got laser beam there. Laser beams! Uh, half is gonna end. Maybe I go get the kill here. Yep. Bravo. Bro, they were one hit. Both of them were one hit. He may got them, so that's good. The build is pretty solid. The recoil. The Enemy in sight. Capture me. 20 bullets. Changing back! Cover me! Nice. It's got a four piece there too. Wait, 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 wait. Gosh dang it, Prox. It's all good. We're popping off, chat. HD 40 solid build. Oh, he's one hit, dog. Target's in sight. Nice. Oh, I got shotgun in the back. Be a B cap here. Nice. I'm dead. Hello? I'm down. Oh my god, I kept pressing the wrong button. Don't worry, I'll get rid of the XS1 Goliath. Oh, I should have. Why am I such a big bot? Why not use the FHA? You know? Oh, ooh, Goliath, Goliath, Goliath. Goliath? Where, where, where? Wait. Wait, wait, wait. I want the kill. Nice. 
I won't lie, Chad. I was focused on getting the Goliath. Trying to get the Goliath kill, I almost threw. Nah, nah, nah. It wasn't even that. It wasn't even that close, Chad. I also got the Goliath. Which, which is not I care for. I got the Goliath. And, uh... That's what matters. Alright, so for those curious of how the skins look, as you guys can see, American Bulldog with the HD40. Pretty solid skin. Looks absolutely fantastic. As you may have noticed, the gun does have an animation. It does actually glow up as you get kills. I think it's about nine kills and it's very, very nice. Animation's very clean. Doesn't stay there for too long. Unlike the black hole, it doesn't really distract me. So very happy that I purchased it and I had a lot of fun with it. You can also see if you attach the charm on it, which is go ahead and hit the gunsmith customize. You can see I have the charm equip and it's pretty nice. I actually didn't have the charm equipped during the stream, but still you guys can see very good uh, physics behind it. So I'm actually pretty happy about that. Now let me go ahead and show you guys two loadouts But if you guys are wondering what the base loadout comes with it comes with this not fantastic Not terrible. It's a fast ADS build speed as you guys can see the mobility is 91 Combat stock as well as the light barrel as well as a stipple grip all ADS speed and you have the fast reload But the red dot is awful. It's awful. I hate it. So probably not gonna be using that So the first build as I mentioned will be the build from path. So you guys will see right here this is a very fantastic build. I've kind of played around with this build before and I'll show you guys the build that I use in all my videos, which I love a lot. And I'll explain to you guys why I use that build. So as you guys can see, the main thing, very popular here, we have the tactical laser sight as well as the no stock. Both of those increased ADS while basically reducing the drawback. Not much drawback in this one. And then the drawback for this one is not too crazy, but it's kind of adjusted with the other builds you'll see. So vertical recoil and flinch and the ADS spread accuracy, which will be adjusted with the strike four grip by reducing the movement speed. So you guys can see the drawbacks is way less than the upsides. The only downside is a little recoil, but it is gonna be taken back because the HD40 has fantastic recoil control. And you guys will see 40 fast mag, which I think is the best mag of all of them. This one, you lose out too much. So definitely worthwhile. And the very, very interesting thing is the YKM integral suppressor. At first I was like, wow, this is not really worth it. You kind of lose out on the muzzle. However, there's a hidden thing on this. You actually did not know. Again, if you haven't yet, path.ex, link in the description. Probably not in the description because I don't have much space on that. Probably link in the first pinned comments so you guys can check that out. But his channel, he'll talk in depth about every single one of these um, attachments. But you guys can see silence fire, ADS bullet spread, and as well as 20% damage range, which is huge. Now, why you would use this over the monolithic? Well, if you don't plan on using a barrel, you might as well use an integral suppressor. The monolithic is really good. It doesn't have bullet spread accuracy, but you have an extra 5% range, which I find to be useful a lot. And my build is a way more aggressive build, and I'll explain to you guys. So the strike foregrip basically has no drawbacks, only 1% movement, which you guys will not notice. Now, if I go to my build, I'll show you guys why I love my build for my playstyle. You may not like my playstyle as much, so I gave you the option of pass build, which is probably the most balanced build with little drawbacks with the highest upside. The build that I am rocking, as you guys will see during the whole game. So the main difference, as you can see, we don't have an under barrel and we replaced the YKM with the monolithic, but we did add a light barrel. So we do have way more ADS spread accuracy, but I'm not really taking out like long range fights and I can take out long range fights, but the main goal is to take those short to medium kind of fight. You can see we have a bunch of ADS spread accuracy in the ADS. I didn't really mind losing ADS because you kind of gain some ADS back here. And you can see you essentially gain 2% more mobility. The main reason for that is that the under barrel is no longer being used. So you gain a percent back. And this one also gives you, I believe it's a, a 1%. It could be more if it's more. It's better, but 2% increase in total is insane. With lightweight, I have a 15% increase in mobility. So this is the build I have. And you'll see when you play on smaller maps. So the first game we played on Crossfire, which was still pretty good. But the last game, you'll see it was absolutely insane. We dropped a massive 40 bomb on Nuketown. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the rest of the video. And I'll see you guys at the end. We captured Alpha. Enemy, yes. Enemy in sight. Uh -huh. I still died to a trip mine. Still died. I see Frost going sweaty, try hard. Contact with enemy. I got shot! Chase out the guy in the house first. See, it takes more than one shot to kill it, so it's kind of like kind of stupid, not gonna lie. I always get freaking never get killed. Stuck. Stuck. Bro. 
Oh my god. Aim assist flipped me over and then it's decided it didn't want... Oh my god. Somebody shoot down the UAVs for freaking sake. Okay, so up here. Hey, let's go. Thanks for the airstrike, dude. I appreciate it. Appreciate the airstrike, Frosh. You're the real goat. Enemy contact. Thanks for the airstrike. Really, really, really means a lot. Thanks, Frosh. You're the real goat. Enemy inside. You the realest of real boat. Reloading. UAV recon is standing by. UAV online. We're captured. This is fantastic. It's so good. I'm actually so happy. Reloading. Cover me. Stay upstairs still. Reloading. Enemy contact. Forty just too good, chat. It's, it's way too good, chat. Oh, got my forty bomb. Yeah, we went forty and seventeen, bro. That's kind of crazy. Went against Frosh. Yeah, I yoinked, I yoinked his care package, which was an airstrike. Kind of like that. All right, that's it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did like, share, and subscribe, don't forget to let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about the skin. I love it. It's absolutely fantastic. And also just to prove to you guys that there's no such thing as the best build. There's only build space around you. I really like the first build that Path had, but I feel like for my play style, the build I made, it worked fantastically well. So that's why I used it. But let me know what you guys think. All right, I'm out to you guys next time. Kill it.